Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we see more evidence of racism where it doesn't exist from a black Met police officer this time who was stopped whilst driving his car home in Croydon. We also look at the BBC even reporting this as racial. The media need to be stopped in my opinion, they're pushing us into a culture war. It's titled Black Met Police Inspector Racially Harassed by Officers. So you can see where this is going can't you? And what do you think of this story by this ass rag BBC? <laughs> I agree, I'm very, very rotten. To the core, even. Let's read this disgrace for a copper, justify his race-baiting rhetoric, shall we? And his illegality, I might add. A senior black police inspector has complained of racial harassment to the Metropolitan Police after being stopped in his car by two white officers. Notice that the immediate notification of race by the BBC on that one. Inspector Charles Ehikio, I'm 100% wrong on that pronunciation, <laughs> recorded the incident in which he said officers stopped him without justification as he drove home from work in South London. Without justification. Okay, don't believe you. Let's find out, shall we? He told the BBC it showed an abuse of power and he was speaking out of solidarity with the black community. Now, what is, in my opinion, an actual abuse of power is screaming racist at people you have zero proof are actually racist. That's an abuse of power, you cockwomble. Let's continue. <laughs> the Met said it found no evidence of misconduct. I rest my case. But obviously this racist sees what he wants to see and that's projecting his racism onto colleagues. You think I'm wrong on this? I'd like to know, let me know. The 55 year old had been driving home after his shift on the 23rd of May when he was followed for two miles by officers and stopped in Croydon according to his complaint. How dare cops follow cars at night? That's disgusting behaviour isn't it? I think we should sack them both. As one officer approached, obviously not, Inspector Bullshit said he noticed he had not switched on his body worn video and this was the reason he refused to leave his car. This is a copper. Refused to leave his car because a camera wasn't on. What is this guy think is going to happen? So he's actually resisting, isn't he? He's resisting already. See why I said racist? He's trying to make out the UK cops are attacking people of colour in, this in the UK. This man is a cop himself. So he's well aware of the facts and chose to lie, in my opinion. Our cops do not attack people for nothing. Wow. And this man isn't a recruit either. You'd think he was, wouldn't you? Listen further in and find out how long he's been a cop. He said he then started to record the incident for protection at which point the officer turned on his camera protection from what exactly why are people becoming jj abrams all of a sudden let me just whip out my camera now that whole section and comment let me rewrite that for you the police pulled me over and as they approached i started recording them whilst refusing to get out of the car and seeing other baiters using race cards when there is no evidence i suspect it's so you can do something with the footage isn't it like i don't know send it to the anti-british broadcasting company here's a reply from me to the cop you ready, bad cop? Hold on tight. Even the BBC couldn't cut your footage and frame what you're saying like they did with Dawn Butler's. Do we think Dawn thought of that, everyone? I don't. They didn't post any of your video, even cut to shit. Therefore, you have no case. If the BBC can't lie about it, it's not capable of being lied about. It's trash. In the recording shared with the BBC News, which they didn't put in the article at all, the officer said Inspector Bullshit was being stopped for driving at speed and it looked like he had gone through a red light. So there's two road traffic at, uh, laws right there. Speeding and going through a red light. But it's racist to stop him, is it? So these racists that racially profile the car going too fast and through red lights are the issue. Not the cop driving too fast and through red lights, who then refused to get out and started recording for the benefit of what? Attacking your own force? You see where I'm going with this? You see why this one's incensed me a little bit? The officer said he needed to see Inspector Bullshit's driving license and proof he was insured to drive the car, that the vehicle had not been stolen and to check he was not drunk or had been using his phone. All perfectly reasonable in my opinion with and within the remit of the law, is it not? He claimed Inspector Bullshit's driving was unusual, which he strongly disputed, according to to the recording. Strongly disputed mean he went mental and started shouting at it. You think that's what it is? Because I think it probably is. I think he's got his phone out and gone ballistic. Just, and been quite condescending as well, a bit like Dawn Butler. But I might be wrong on that. I'll have to see the video. If anyone can find the footage, by the way, can you link it to me? I'm 
I'm curious. If he social media posted it, it'll be out there somewhere. It's just I can't find it anywhere. Which isn't surprising, to be honest, if it's as um, fake as I'm, I think it is. Inspector Bullshit was then accused of being obstructive, and the officer said his own behaviour had been perfectly reasonable. Reasonable, it can be heard. So he's obstructing the police, resisting any instructions. This is a copper doing this. So obstructing the police in the course, course of the duty, basically. This guy is building a rap sheet a career criminal would be ashamed of, isn't it? These were all alleged offences that could have ended my whole career, and I think this is maybe the real reason why he's screamed racism. It's got nothing to do with the cops actually being racism. He's just trying to get out of being a law-breaking police officer. Am I wrong? Mr. B- said Mr. Bullshit, who has worked for the Met Police for more than 22 years. There you go, 22 years. This man's worked for the force and now all of a sudden he's screamed the force he's been paid from for 22 years has racially abused him. This is why I don't believe it a word of this. This is a grift, isn't it? Wants to get in on the dollar dollar bill, yo. I'm sorry this cop sick- sickens me. And we wonder why we have a shite police force. Seems we've been shown quite a few of them over the past six months, haven't we? So far, all I'm seeing here is a cop that should know better, that got caught breaking the laws he's paid to enforce, that immediately screamed racist so he wouldn't be sacked. This is disgusting. This whole thing has effectively thrown two cops who have done nothing wrong other than do the job under the bus rather than face the music. It's sackable this in my in my opinion. This man has proved he's corrupt. If his job is more important than the whole force hasn't it? In his formal complaint Inspector Bullshit wrote the officers did not believe or did not care that I was an officer because I'm black. No they didn't care because you broke the road traffic laws. How dare he? What is this? What is it really? I'm a cop, I'm allowed. I'm black, I'm allowed. You're white, you're so you're racist. No, it's not. One rule, one law for all. And you should know that being a police officer, shouldn't you, Mr. Bullshit? They are both clearly racist police officers pretending to be polite while falsely accusing me without any evidence whatsoever of having committed serious criminal and road traffic act offences. Pretending to be polite. Wow. So he's admitting they were polite even with him refusing to get out and obstructing. And yet he's calling them racist. So far, there's no evidence of this, is there? After Inspector Bullshit informed them he was a serving police officer and later showed them his police badge, both officers left the scene. So when he told them he was a cop, they left and still they're racists. The Met said Inspector Bullshit was not arrested, charged or cautioned on for any offence in relation to the stop. Then why is this a story other than racism, racism from the cop against the white police officers trying to do their job? I believe I was racially profiled and received no apology. You broke the law twice, apparently by speeding and possibly going through a red light. If you'd have been pleasant and spoke to the police like you would expect to be spoken to when you're in the uniform, this would not be an issue, is would it? You recording it and then screaming racism has made this an issue, not it actually being one. Sorry, you don't deserve an apology. I have kids and a grandson. I would not want them treated like this. Tell them not to resist speed, drive through red lights. I wouldn't personally want my family to be treated like this either for doing the job like they should. See how I flip that on you? you fraggle. The Met has come under increasing scrutiny since the wave of Black Lives Matter protests in the UK after the death of African-American George Floyd, which has zero to do with the UK or its cops. Last week, the Labour MP Dawn Butler called for a system change after she and a black male friend were stopped and pulled over in East London by two police cars. Still pushing the black black driver. The driver looked white to me and she hasn't released the full video, so she's hiding something, isn't she? But a lady I saw on, was it Talk, Talk Radio, I think it was, who's actually put in a freedom of information request for the body cam footage. So that should be released soon. So we'll see just how racially profiled Dawn Butler's stop was, shall we? I'm seeing another one of those coming for this one to be honest as I don't believe a word of this either and it disgusts me that he would even try this in July the British sprinter Bianca Williams received an apology from the Met Police after she and her partner were pulled over in their car for a stop and search in West London who was driving on the wrong side of the road and uh, and at speed my I add and yet they apologise this is probably exactly what they're going to do with this guy as well they'll apologise they'll effectively bend the knee again even though he was the one that broke the rules is he not and he was he's the one that should know better Lawrence Davis 
Davies of Equal Justice Solicitors, who is representing Mr. Bullshit, said the incident showed the extent of the current racism in the Metropolitan Police. Where's the proof? Exactly, Lawrence Davies. Where's the proof that this was a, in any way racial? This is all he said, she said, isn't it? Scum lawyers do my nutting. The conduct of a few embarrassed the vast majority of officers who are not racist, but who, as a consequence of that conduct, have to work with very distrusting BAME communities. Is he actually saying that this guy doesn't trust the police, even though he is a policeman? <laughs> is that what he's trying to make out there? Because that's what that sounds like, doesn't it? The Met confirmed it has received an internal complaint from a driver who alleged they were stopped as a result of racial profiling and said an investigation was underway by the Professional Standards Unit. In a statement, the Met said the vehicle was followed by officers through suspicion of excessive speed and at a traffic signal and onwards. No action was taken against the man stopped and after reviewing body-worn footage, no evidence of misconduct was found, it was said. And yet he's still screaming racism, isn't he? The statement added, any allegation, whether external or internal, made concerning the conduct of our staff is taken extremely seriously and you'll bend the knee even though they're not at fault just like you did with Don Butler and you'll do with it with this guy as well where the conduct of staff is proven to have fallen below the standards of behavior expected we will take robust action to ensure that staff are appropriately disciplined and that lessons are learned from each case I'm sick of hearing that comment that that line now lessons are learned nobody learns anything do they you just repeat the same rubbish over and over now what's my opinion on this well my opinion is this this guy's no copper, he's a race grifter. He's looked for offence so his law breaking didn't get him shamed. His actions should be a sackable offence. Cops should not break their own laws and then destroy other colleagues for personal gain. It's like white cops are not allowed to stop lawbreakers based on skin colour, isn't it? The true racism is that, in my opinion. I'm confused. It sounds like future segregation to me. Only black, black cops can arrest black crims, only white, white. Where does this shit stop? Because it's obvious now, groupthink is destroying the West. As you all know, I am not a racist. I am pretty much anti-racist, in fact. But I recognise what racism actually is, and, and that it comes from every race. Not just whites, like it's being pushed by idiots. I would probably be one of the first to call out actual racist cops, but I've never seen one, and I mean that, literally. 22 years this man has worked for a force that he all of a sudden just knows is rife with institutional and individual racism. Really? 22 years to find that out, and this investigates crime? Really? I mean, even if the force was racist, which it isn't. 22 years to solve a case. Pitiful policing. <laughs> but anyway, I'd like to know your opinion on this one. I think this is absolutely disgusting what he's doing here. He's, he's effectively ending two police officers' careers because he was caught breaking the law. Am I wrong here? Let me know in the in the comments if, if you think I'm wrong. If you're new, don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Share it out, everyone. Stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.